Alright, so this is probably going to be the finale of Muv Love Mayor Route proper. Um, like I said, I might go back through. I might. I'm not going to guarantee it. I'm probably going to check them out in a little bit. You know, some of the other routes. I just don't know how much I want to read the other, the other routes. I mean, I read this whole thing. And I especially don't want to read anything embarrassing like that last section. <laughs> but yeah, I don't mind um, checking them out to see if there's anything interesting. Um, like maybe we'll find out more about Chizuru. Is it Chizuru? Um, and uh, Kei-chan. Um, their beef. I'd like to learn more about their beef. I wonder if, you know, one of them is the main girl. I wonder if they let you know. Um, obviously I have to go back through and get, um, Samika's route at some point. Um, don't know if I'm motivated enough to get that now, because I think I'm gonna have to read some of that. Maybe I'll go through and kind of do that route while I'm checking out the other ones. I don't know. Or at least the scenes from that route. Alright, let's go. Ohayou Good morning, Takeru-sama. Ohayou gozaimasu, Takeru-sama. Good morning, Takeru-sama. Ohayou gozaimasu, Takeru-sama. Ohayou gozaimasu, Takeru-sama. I'm awake. Ohayou gozaimasu, Takeru-sama. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. I'm awake already. Ohayou gozaimasu. Stop. Really now? How can the two of you keep up this charade each and every morning? My apologies. It's not like I chose to do this. <laughs> you are to blame as well. How can you not wake up until 4am in the morning? Well, I went to bed at 2am, so... Takeru-sama, if you were to take your daily studies seriously, you'd be able to sleep eight hours a day. I'm doing the best I can, dude. So ka. Sonata mo tsurai no da na? I see. I am sure it must be hard on you. Kōshijin kara mānichi taki no yoni kujō ga kite orimasu. Koinkyo-sama to ii, meiya-sama to ii. I have complaints raining down on me from the lecturers every day. Meya-sama, you and the former master both are far too lenient with Takedu-sama. Oh, I am ashamed of myself. Today's <laughs> <laughs> I will now announce Takadusama's schedule for the day. Breakfast in the main palace at 5 a.m. Economics lecture at 7. A lecture on the history of the Mitsurugi at 9. Hang on a minute, isn't today Sunday? There is no time to rest. Takahashi will be arriving soon, so please do hurry. Oh, come on, at least give me my Sundays off. You truly are a demanding one. Your lack of resolve astounds me. This isn't about resolve, this is torture. This daily routine, routine is gonna freaking kill me. I'm gonna kneel keel over from stress. There you go again. First it was being unable to relax in the master bedroom, so we worked so meticulously to recreate your old one. Similar complaints were made regarding his mail plan. I pity the sheep. The chefs, who must re recreate the exact taste and texture of instant ramen, using such expensive ingredients. Hmm. 
Fine then. He can take all of that away. But let us have Sundays off. Everyone needs a day of rest. Alright. To be fair, like, Takadu, would you really want to sleep in this crappy room? Wouldn't you want, like, a nice master bedroom? I don't know. Everybody needs their Sundays off. Everybody needs a day of rest. Unacceptable, Takadu-sama. Is the head of the Mitsurugi. Yeah, I get that. But I never get any time to talk to Maya. Oh. I'm sure you're just as busy, but that's not right. The only reason I felt prepared for this was because I'd have you with me. I'd like to be able to have some, you know, good old-fashioned alone time with her. At least once a week, without any interruptions. <laughs> Sukuyomi. When is our next rest period? Uh, about two weeks from now, there'll be a four-hour rest break. Oh my god. And when was the last one? <laughs> uh, ten days ago, you were given a three-hour rest break. Every Sunday is a day off. No objections. <sighs> Understood, I will redesign the curriculum. Sweet. Okay, Maya, hop on over here. Takedo-sama, not right away. Today's plans are still... Nah, they can wait. Tell them I'm sick or whatever. I don't care. <sighs> Fine then. I can see I have no choice. Hehehe. <laughs> I feel bad for Tsukuyomi. Maya, come over here. Wait, but are you not feeling drowsy? So what? It's been so long. <笑>ん意地悪だからな。あ。に、逃げているのではない。うるさい。声が大きいのはそなたが怒らせるから。うん。バカ。We met in that town. Grew up in that town. Said goodbye in that town. And now we've been bound together. The times we laughed. <laughs> the times we cried. Oh. The times we hurt others and were hurt ourselves. All of these memories are living proof that we've come this far. Even if the flow of time washes it all away. Hmm. Even if one day these memories should fade. They all happened. As long as I'm with you, I know I'll be able to walk on toward a shining future. We've been raised up and driven forward. By so many people. And so many emotions. And now at last... We've been united. Maya, as long as I'm with you. Honestly, you truly are an impatient man. Aww. So what did you think?
I'll hold my thoughts for after, I guess. Any post credit stuff, or is that it? I think that's it. Uh, so let's see. So what was I going to talk about? Oh, so right at the end of the credits, um, they credit Dagika, who did the Kickstarter campaign for this, brought this game to life um, stateside, you know, localization-wise. Unfortunately, Dagika, or whatever, however you pronounce their name, um, they've decided that their part in the localization process 
is done. They're not going to do anything more with the Muvlove Love franchise. So everything is going to fall to the company that actually, I think, made the game, IXTL. They were in the credits, too. Uh, it's a little a bit worrying uh, for Muv Love's future. Like, I don't... Is it not profitable? I don't know. But I'm worried because um, there are other games in the franchise we're supposed to get. Like, at the very least, I think we're supposed to get Schwartz's Marken. You know, the one that was made into an uh, anime. I thought we were supposed to get that game adaptation. And I think we're... Um, I mean, there were other things that I thought we were going to get. You know, maybe at some point, Total Eclipse would be something they'd look into. Um, and there's supposedly going to be more stories in the Schwarz's Marken franchise. I don't know if that's still going to happen, but I, that was the rumor, at least, that I heard, that that was just the start of something bigger. Um, so yeah, I'm a little disappointed that Dikika pulled out and... I don't know, just just a little concerned. I understand that the, the parent company said, you know, IXTL or whatever, they said that they take over the, the whole process, but I don't know what that means, you know, for all the future goods. Um, uh, in terms of this game itself, you know, it was okay. You know, there, there were definitely some parts I liked more than others. Uh, anything to do with the food really dragged. Um... There were, there were parts that I liked more, parts that I liked less. But yeah, it was it was okay overall. I liked, you know, it was an easy read. Um, I would definitely want to go back through, <laughs> reread some parts. Um, uh, in terms of Maya's route, it was okay. I, I wouldn't say it was great. Um, I just felt like there should have been more Maya-specific stuff, you know, going on in her route. You know, you, you kind of only get locked into her route really late, it feels like. Um, and honestly, their connection isn't that deep. Like, he falls in love with her. Why? I don't know. I, I like to go back through. I mean, certainly, you know, she's needs somebody, you know, to... I don't know what the word is. Just like be on her level, or on, on like, a, a safer level than just, like, the company, the Mitsudugi. You know, she's, she needs somebody like Takadu. But why does he need her, specifically? And is this future life really the best thing for him? I mean, if I were him, I probably wouldn't want to go through with this. So there are a lot of images of Maya we didn't get. I don't know if these are in um, another game mode. Chibi. Huh. Yeah, there's some chibi we didn't get. <laughs> but yeah, overall, you know, okay, definitely. And I'll definitely, at some point, pick up uh, Alternative, which I hear is the one to play. Now, I think there's another game mode for this. Extra, extra. Do I have to complete all of extra to unlock the other game mode? I thought there was another alternate mode. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is it. Unlimited. Yeah. So let's just see. So how do I get to unlimited? Unlimited. That's obviously extra. Do I have to beat everything in extra? Okay, there's unlimited. So I assume unlimited takes place in college? I don't know. I wonder if we should just start that up. I'm curious about it, so maybe we'll check it out real quick. But I, I don't want to start it proper, obviously. So for this video, I think I'll... I'll finish it. See you next time.